So my name is Christy Jackson and my son is Savon Jackson. He did dancing classrooms four years ago at Stonebridge World School and DeAnthony Jackson did it two years ago. In fourth grade, Savon had some behavioral issues. He got better. In fifth grade, he got better. And I feel like dancing classrooms helped him to, like, motivate him to know. Like, he knew if he behaved badly, he wouldn't be able to still be a part of it. Mm -hmm. So, fifth grade, he kind of matured a little bit more. He became on the student council fifth grade. And then he did dancing classrooms. Mm -hmm. right? So, he started, his behavior started to get way better. I just remember getting less calls and he was more excited and he, he just enjoyed the dancing so and I know that his basketball team noticed because they started calling him twinkle toes yeah and it was like oh that's why he's so light on his feet because he's dancing I get it now become more mature he, to, he built connections so he became he just became more aware I just think it made him more aware and he's been like a straight A student They know they can't be a part of something if they misbehave. So the same with DeAnthony. Like he just, you know, knew he wanted to be a part of it. He knew I would want him to be in the competition because Savon was. So he just strived a little harder. It made him be prepared for the crowd. To be ready, like to be in front of a crowd and not be so nervous. He wasn't nervous at all. I mean, if he was, he didn't show it. And I think theater, dance, singing, I think that all is connected. It began with uh, dancing classrooms. I think in this time and of everything that goes on, I think I think dance is a great way to, to get energy out. I'm um, also to learn. Um, I feel like they can use it in their future when they get older. Um, they can take it, you know, far, whether they're in theater or they're getting married and they're showing people their steps, you know. So I think I encourage it for all schools.